stories from your corner and the events happening in your community. Toledo News This Morning starts right now. Good Saturday morning, I'm Jaden Jefferson and welcome to this first edition of Toledo News This Morning in the new year. As we did in 2023, we do in 2024. Begin with the checker forecast, of course. High in the mid 30s, low in the lower 30s, with a 50% chance of snow showers. So depending on the type of person you are, this may be a day best spent indoors. I-475 southbound will be reduced to one lane between north of Airport Highway and south of US-24, starting at 8 a.m. and lasting through most of today. As this happens, the southbound ramps will experience closures, intermittently for paving. Two of the ramps, however, will remain closed for extended periods of time. The eastbound Dussel Drive Salisbury Road ramp for 120 days and the US-24 eastbound and westbound ramp for a week. Happening today, you're invited to attend the memorial service for longtime Toledo Fire and Rescue Department Public Information Officer Sterling Ray. It begins at 1 p.m. in Savage Arena. A new bipartisan proposal by State Representatives Michelle Grimm of Toledo and Jim Hoops of Napoleon would require drivers, if it becomes law, to stop, look, and listen at railroad crossings. This may be something you're familiar with if you rode the school bus at one point or another. Currently, drivers only have to do the first two things at rail crossings, stop and look. The penalty for those who fail to stop at an active railroad crossing would remain a fourth degree misdemeanor. The City of Toledo Department of Public Service is looking for contractors to provide grass and vegetation cutting services for city parks, right-of-ways, and neighborhood lots through its 2024 grass mowing program. All bids must be submitted by Tuesday, January 16th at 1.30 p.m. You can place a bid by clicking on this article at toledo.oh.gov slash news. Did you know that your feedback could be valuable in how Lucas County addresses man-made or natural hazards? You're encouraged to attend one of two meetings, one on Wednesday at 6 p.m. or another on Thursday at 10 a.m. to offer your personal experience with regard to hazards that impact you, from public health to natural disasters like flooding. Both meetings will be held at the Lucas County Emergency Services Training Center on Jefferson Avenue. Three Toledo projects are recipients of support from the Historic Preservation Tax Credit Program, awarded by the Ohio Department of Development. They total over $12 million and will go toward Burt's Theater, Hop and Strut Bottling Company, and the Nicholas Building. Residential use, event space, and a combination of both will be the result of final renovations, respectively. From the historic to the future, it's definitely a trend in this part of the show. You'll be saying so after this story. Enrollment is now open for the Ohio High School Tech Internship Program. It's a program that to enroll students or school districts here in Northwest Ohio, we'll have to contact Junior Achievement of Northwest Ohio to find out what openings there are for students that are interested. Welcome to the cafe, where community and commentary come together. And for this inaugural edition, I can't find the coffee anywhere in the studio, which is disappointing. I mean, 2024, it's supposed to be a fresh slate, but I, I'm not seeing it just yet. But I wanna do some commentary for this inaugural edition. Let's go back to the summer of 23. I get it's in the past, but it's important and you're about to see why. As you may or may not recall, I did some radio over at Q105. It's now Toledo's 90s, 2000s, and now station. But when I was doing some radio work over there, it was a top 40 hit station. So my friend Eric Chase and I, we were doing a bunch of radio. One thing I quickly noticed, because I like a lot of 90s and 2000s music, which is what the format is now at the station. But I noticed as we were playing a lot of the songs that were big hits, from now, there weren't too many dance pop songs, which was pretty disappointing to me because it makes up most of my playlist. And so I asked Eric about this and yeah, it was a disappointing summer. We didn't get too many big hits. There were a lot of ballads. Not that there's anything wrong with a good ballad, but maybe 2024 will bring us more hits that you can dance to, you know, have a party around. So cross your fingers and hope. That is this inaugural edition of The Cafe. I'm Jaden Jefferson. Thanks for joining me for Toledo News this morning, and I'm back next week. Have a great Saturday.